Hello. Oh, volume. Get rid of that. Nobody needs that echo. Welcome to an impromptu, unscheduled, zero-page homebrew. A little bit later than we usually do it. Just uh, a little. <laughs> yeah. I think it's 10 o'clock here. And so it's 1 o'clock East Coast, so... Probably not a lot of viewers, maybe. Well... 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. in Europe. Yeah. Maybe, Monday morning. Maybe we'll get more European viewers <laughs> yes. on Monday morning. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Arena Foot, almost midnight here. So he's uh, central? There's mountain, central, Something Eastern? like that. Yeah, that sounds about right. So Atlantic. central. It must be Newfoundland. central. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Newfoundland, half hour off. Half an off. hour off, yeah. Um, so I was uh, requested. This is going to be a little sh a short one. Um, maybe up to a half an hour. We'll see. Um, uh, I was given, I was emailed an update or messaged an update on the uh, Atari Age forum um, by MLDB who did Unreal Tournament 2600 and he said, oh, I've, I've released a new build um, of Unreal Tournament 2600 with a whole bunch of improvements um, based on the last gameplay that I did on the show because mm. we played it on some the real hardware, right? Mm -hmm. On uh, Light Sixer 2600 with RGB upgrades mm -hmm. through a Frame Meister, and there was some some jittering and some issues, and we couldn't actually play um, the non capture the flag. What is it? It's um, death match. We couldn't play the death match. It couldn't get into it, mm. and some of the map selection screen was crazy as well so we couldn't do a full play so I've got the list of things that he's updated here mm -hmm. so we're gonna go through them and and see how they look because yeah. he wanted a real-world um, playthrough okay. of it because a lot of these developers they played on their <clears throat> own systems or they develop it on the computer mm. and they don't get a, a proper playthrough uh, on, a, on an actual system on a harmony harmony cartridge because some of them don't even have harmony cartridges um, <clears throat> so he sent me um, a message thanks again for featuring Unreal Tournament on your channel finding the screen jitterbug on the map selection screen um, he said during the live stream I got out of bed I'm in the same <laughs> time zone as Yanks um, who is uh, not here today because it is impromptu there's not too many people watching right now because um, I didn't alert everybody but Ice Posta is here and Arena Foot is here and uh, a couple other people are here. Uh, Commander Root as well, who I've never seen before. I never look at the user list. I only see the people who are talking, so mm. maybe it's a silent person. Yeah. And it says seven, but I think some people can watch without having a login, because that doesn't add up to seven. That's true. Anyway, he, he jumped out of bed uh, to fix it. And I was hoping you'd try the latest version on your setup um, just to check if the bug is fixed or it's still there. Um, he said, I'm not asking for a review or a stream of the test. <laughs> I'd be just happy with a quick reply saying it's fixed or still there. But I thought, well, he wants to see it. So I thought, oh, I'd record it. Mm -hmm. Then I thought, well, if I'm recording it, Might as well stream. why don't I just <laughs> click another button and stream it at the same time? Because it's not any much harder. I just turn on some... I was going to turn on the lights anyway because they asked to see me. So let's take a look. This is Unreal Tournament. This is an adaption of a 3D modern game onto a flat 2D screen. And he does an amazing job of adapting it. So let's switch over. Take a look. Um, oh, let's turn up the volume too. I think this one has quite loud music so I'm just turn it down a little bit there we go <laughs> bad etiquette to mention lurkers mm -hmm. yeah sorry to out you <laughs> anybody can see you that is in the stream can see your name so <laughs> sorry lurkers <laughs> it's not really a secret but yes okay because um, I used to do radio shows and we would read off everybody's name in the chat whether they said something or not, mm. so I'm just used to that. Um, so let's just check and go through the, the maps, because the maps before were super jittery. Okay. So 
So just do beginners, random, all three flags, that's all fine. Oh, okay, let's start at the beginning. <laughs> okay. That one's fine, that one's fine, that one's fine. That one's jittery. That one's fine, 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 fine. That Ooh. green and brown one's jittery. That one's fine. That one's... That one's jittery. That one's too. a little bit jittery. Oh! Off and on. That's very interesting. I'm sure there's a pattern. <laughs> it is. Listen to the music. Oh, it is. The, it is the, linked to the music. Because on an Atari 2600, everything is done real time. So if you miscalculate how much time it takes to do certain things, like playing music mm -hmm. or drawing something, mm -hmm. It'll... It'll impact other aspects of, of, yes. of the game. That makes sense. So it's in time to the music. So he needs to do some line counting again. <laughs> and that one's fine. And that oh, one's yeah. not so good. And maybe if we wait long enough on some of them, it's not so good. But it does have something to do with the music. I, actually, I just want to make sure I'm running the right running the right build. Oh, that's terrible looking. <clears throat> yeah, 0603, which is today, obviously, because he mm -hmm. wanted me to test it. Um, so I'm run it, running the right build because I just want to make sure because he said he fixed the screen jumps. Who is the programmer? I offered to help the optimize. Who is the programmer? It's ML... Let me just get it exactly right. It's capital M, capital L, lowercase d, uppercase b. Um, so just look for UT2600, all one word, in the forums, in the Atari Age forums, and you will find it. Yeah, so this is the right build, and there is some jitter still. Yeah. Was it all of them before? Or similar to this, where a was... few of them had the, the jittery... I seem to remember being really bad, like worse than this. Okay. Um, and I think more were jittery. Mm. And also you couldn't start the death match. Um, so let's actually go check the death match. And unfortunately you can't, oh, you can get back, okay. So let's go to death match. That one's jittery in the death match. Those are all fine. Yeah, last one last is jittery. I mean, it's expected. This look. This looks like the exact. Oh. Oh. Oh, that one jumps too. Not very often though. That's very interesting. It is. It's and very patterned. <laughs> it is very patterned. Yeah. Um, because when you look at it on the computer through Stella, which is the emulator, mm. it is very forgiving. Mm. It doesn't, it kind of ignores, it can't, it doesn't emulate these screen jumps. Okay. Um, because it doesn't use real, it doesn't emulate a television. It kind of does, but it doesn't do it as far as a real television would. Oh, Arena Foot, thank you very much. Um, he posted that we just went live. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Arena Foot. Yeah, it was really quick. I didn't even have time to post it mm. in the Facebook or anything. Okay, so let's let's just try the death match. Um, here you go. Okay. It's pretty much we shoot each other. Okay. That's that's the whole <laughs> this thing. This is not a game I know. I do not know the 3D version of this game either. So it Move is going to be completely shoot. new. That's it. B. Yeah, B the regular right. button. Well, at least it's it's simple controls. So it's B to start. Oh. Oh. You unconfirmed. There we go. Oh, it's jittery. Oh. Okay, so let's just move around. Don't shoot me. Okay. So you're blue. Yes. I'm red, for the people out there. Oh. You so. Can walk on the, oh no, you can. No. It's sort of on the gray. What's that? The flashing thing are weapons. The weapon pickups. And that, after you pick it up, it shows you what weapon you got. Okay. Oh, and you can switch weapons. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, I just died. 
Okay, that was three. very Where's interesting. <laughs> the, you do have grenades, you have heat-seeking missiles, there's like a huge list. But I have not memorized what they look like in comparison to... Oh, what is that? A green sticky bomb, I think. Oh, and I just got rid of it. Oh. So the deathmatch is working, so that is good. Okay, so now if you look on the bottom there... Yeah. Um, the 80... Is? Is how much ammo you have for that weapon. Gotcha. And the other one is your, your health. Oh, and now you're down to two health. <laughs> oh, oh, no, it reset. Interesting. Not a lot of my... My weapon is really hard to see. Oh, now I'm... Oh, you, that got me. My weapon's gone. Let's see. Oh, that one works. Oh, that's a missile. Yeah, that's a missile. Some, some of them you can steer, but not that one. Oh, that shoots through walls. Does it? it seems to. Oh, I want this one. But it does run out. Oh, you got it. <laughs> what do I have? Oh, yes, this, this sniper. Oh, Mimi. I think. I need a lot of practice on this <laughs> because there's so many weapons. To, uh, to learn. That's very cool. Yes. I mean, it's... it's um... And it's the first game I've seen on the 2600 with, with like, weapon choices like this. Such yeah. variety. Like, this one has such short oh, range. Oh, there's a little jump, screen jump there. So what issues were you noticing? Oh, you couldn't even play you Deathmatch before. Couldn't even play Deathmatch. Couldn't get into it. It was just... I can't remember what, what screen it's stuck on, but I think, like, right away you couldn't even play it. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. So what? what is the health level? The health level's on the left. On the left. So you're at 100. And you're at 40. I'm at 41, yeah. Actually, there's health pickups, too. And that's probably oh. what the uh, the cross was. And he's, so some of the changes... Oh. Let me just read some of the changes here. Hmm. Um, impact hammer now shows a slow moving shockwave when fired. I don't know if we've seen that one yet. Uh, it kind of makes a. Is that a. Is that the impact hammer? Let's see. No. No. You have okay. the same as me. Oh, Let's just go and one. try and collect some of these things. Sure. Previously, there was no way to tell that you fired the impact hammer. That would be a problem. That looks like just a lot of bullets. That's, yeah. that's the one that goes through walls. Oh! That might That's be an not, in invincibility. Yeah. Look at me. Try and shoot me. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> not invincibility. No. <laughs> oh, that's that one. Oh, that's short range, that one. Yeah. Short range, but probably powerful. Okay, and this one is the same thing. Hey! <laughs> oh, we were collecting things. And killing. <laughs> collecting and killing. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. And also, if you fire in a direction yeah and then hold down the button you keep firing in that oh direction. i see it's like straight it's strafing yeah okay yeah. that's easy enough oh these are the sticky bombs so this is that the impact hammer that oh. must be does it just go that range yeah and i and okay. i have no bullets oh okay press it do you want me to hit you yeah Oh, that's very powerful. Interesting. Did you run out? No, I'm just... So it let lasts forever? Uh, yes, but you have to be within oh, very... Cool. That's a sticky bomb. Yeah. Oh, it only lasts a little bit. Oh. So you have you have to hit me twice. Ha 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 ha. Uh, yes, that is correct. Okay. This is... A slow-moving yeah, shockwave. It, it kind of looks like I a saw... shockwave, but it only goes out like a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't go very far. Okay, oh, did you just get rid of it? Yes. Oh, I wanted to see how far it was Oh, it was effective. not far. Oh, jeez. Did I do that? Yeah, there's a sniper. That might have been the sniper. Yes, it is. Ooh, sorry. I... That's really effective. I guess you only it get is. a few... 
That's... That looks like a... Missile. And I just killed myself. <laughs> You're too close to the Ooh, wall. Ooh, that's good to know. That missile... I think that was a steering one. Yeah, this one doesn't show up very well. This is the regular one. Yeah. This is your, your default... <laughs> uh, does this last forever? Um, which one? Like this? I think it just... Whoa, there was that a jump was a, there. That was a glitch. Ooh. There we go. There's there you the go. end of the so game. So you, you killed me ten times. Okay. Yeah. So you got ten points out of eight. We were very close. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. That's a straightforward. Yeah. So straightforward let's game. go to the capture the flag. Mm -hmm. Just play that one. Okay, another one is during capture the flag matches... If your opponent wins the match by capturing the most flags, scoring three points, you can still earn one point if your frag count is higher. Okay. So if you kill them more than the other person kills you, even though you won by flags, you get one more point. Mm. So you can kind of, you could sort even, of it even, even it out yeah. by just being better at... Uh, Killing your killing. opponent. Yeah, so what, you pick the map. Me? Yeah. Another, uh... Another... Yeah, this game's been in... Oh, that's a jumpy one. <laughs> I'm sure it won't... Oh, yeah, I have to press it, too. Has to be both flashing. There we go. Special pickup locations added, but for now only implemented in the first three maps. Hmm. Short description, if you happen to pick up a sniper rifle, redeemer, super health, or damage amplifier, remember the location of the pickup box. Mm. Next time a pickup box shows there, it will almost contain, almost certainly contain the same item. So there's like special locations. Mm. But it's only for the first three maps. Oh, because he has to plan out for all the other maps. So. Bio rifle blob can now stick to walls properly and explode when you press fire a second time. I just wanted to see, I just wanted to see that's all okay. <laughs> I just wanted to then see. then you have to go back and touch your flag oh I see okay. like return it to home base oh I see and you keep and, playing and then it goes yeah gotcha I'm flashing still interesting I don't know what power that is you get one free hit by me oh. um, added telefragging respawn on top of your opponent will instantly kill the poor fellow oh. um, Pickups now time out, disappear after a few seconds. What? That was weird. Let me just look at his post again. Okay, yeah, I needed to copy his last little bits of his updates from today. Let me just post that so I can see it here. There we go. Okay. Now there's a beginner's and an advanced mode, and we're playing the beginner's mode. Definitely. Because there's a lot more abilities that are available. Oh, look at this. Here's another bug. Oh, yeah. I'm firing to the right. Oh, yeah. it's over. I must have landed on a pickup. Oh, it does go a little bit. Uh, okay, come near me. Come near me. Yeah, you want to see how much? How far it goes. Okay. Stay there. Yeah. Oh, it is only very short. Okay. Um, so we're going to go to the advanced mode now okay. to see the new changes. Okay. Oh, don't press I'm anything. I'm not pressing anything. Okay, because it's like changed to three. But these are sensitive. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not touching it. Okay. Let's do that. Press the button. There we go. Hmm. I'm still red. Okay, so he. these are the new things he added. Uh, the advanced setting enables translocator and jumping, but it comes at cost, cost of a slightly more complicated controls. To fire your weapon, you'll have to be moving or at least pushing against a wall. Pressing the trigger without pushing the stick will make your avatar squat in anticipation. 
Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, okay. Translocator. Stand still. And press and hold the trigger and push the joystick down to place a translocator at your current position. This will be indicated by a blue arrow. Mm -hmm. Release the trigger will allow your avatar to move again. To teleport to the location where you place the translocator, simply repeat the same steps. So you transport it back to it. Mm -hmm. So it only shows where you put it for a few seconds, right? Yeah, so you can go. You put it down, and then you run away somewhere else. Yeah. And then you press down again, oh. and you transport back. Oh, I just hit my button, though. I wasn't, was I pushing down? Let uh, me just see here. <laughs> okay. So I was trying to shoot. You have to move and press the button. Yeah, but... Okay. But to trans... Translocate, you have to stop. squat and push down. Yeah, gotcha. and then you go back. Okay. So that works pretty well. Yeah, it seems to be working pretty good. Uh, the translocator can be used to quickly reach the other side of the map, defend your flag. So that's good. So you can put it back near where your flag is, go up, get the other guy's flag, and teleport back quickly. That's very clever. Or teleport... Protect, to protect your... Or now you can teleport back to where... Wait, oh, you already planted it. Okay. <laughs> no, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So you can put it either at your place or at the other guy's place and quickly go back. Um, but a translocator cannot be used strategically on capture the flag matches. Example, the blocking access to your flag. Because after telefragging an opponent during capture the flag, you'll have to score a flag capture before you will get your translocator back. Mm, so you only get ah. one shot, so... So once you pick up his flag, you can't use it? Oh, you can. Oh, but no, it puts but it can't. back down. You I... can't carry it in the transporter. Oh, okay. So you can't use it to do that so tricky To get back, you can movement. only do it to you... kind of get back to your flag quickly. Yeah. Like if you're protecting. You have to walk. You have to walk back. That's good. That's smart. He put that in there because that's too easy to just jump back. Marina Foot says, "I'm gonna have to leave. Time for bed, and I have to open in the morning. Over f only five hours sleep till I have to get up." Bye bye. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> sorry for the late show. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. You can watch it in the the YouTube uh, rebroadcast, and Fridays is up on YouTube as well. I put it up today. Okay, jumping. Stand still and press and hold the trigger and push the joystick up to jump. Use jumping to avoid blobs, rays, rockets, and shrapnel ah. and to reach pickup boxes. Why would you need to jump to reach pickup boxes? Through a wall, maybe? No, to avoid something, maybe. Well, to avoid me shooting you in certain ways. To reach pickup boxes. Hmm. You cannot, however, capture or score a flag by jumping towards it, as this could give one of the players an unfair advantage based on the map layout. So while you're jumping, you can't jump up and get the flag. So if you go down near my flag, not touching it, get really close. Okay, there, jump. There, okay. So you can't get the flag, because he does jump fairly high. One final warning. Your avatar will not squat when you're carrying the Redeemer, but still fire it, because even when even when you're standing still. I've done this because steering the Redeemer is complicated enough without trouble of firing it while running around. The Redeemer is the steerable uh, missile, okay. which I don't think we've got. No, yet. I don't think so. It is a very awesome weapon. Um, also, some changes. Remove the option to select weapon set. All weapons are now fully functional. There's no need to have a best working set. Um, added player skill menu option. Um, right, the advanced and basic. Okay. Um, added translocators, added jumping. Okay. Uh, you just started, right? I just started. Okay. So let's play. Oh, my. A flag. Yeah, you have to kill me to get your flag back to be able to deposit my flag. 
Oh. Now you have to... Oh, I have to get it back! Get, get your flag because I dropped it, right? Because you killed me. Ah, uh, there you go. Now you got... Wait, which one? I'm so confused. <laughs> You're blue. Yeah. I have to get yours. You have to get my flag. But before... Oh! But if I get I your I flag... Oh, I see. You have to get it off me. So... Pretty much, you have to get both bla both flags back. Oh, it's jumpy. Oh, we both died. That's very cute. I love the characters. They are very cute. Very good animation. Oh, good job. So let's do that again. <laughs> play that one. Yeah, it was fun. So there is some jumpiness during the play. Occasional, jit like a, an occasional a jitter. jitter. Not sure if that's because of the music. Whoa, 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 whoa. Or it's because we're firing. Whoa, that's heat seeking. Oh, it's bouncing. <laughs> Double kill. Double kill. Confused. Which flag am I trying to get? <laughs> the opposite. Well, you have to return your flag, which you kind just of. did your base because I did pick it up at one point. Now I've got yours and we have to kill each other. Ah. Yeah, you're gonna kill me. I have no weapon. Flag Horrible. Bring yours back to mine. you lose your weapon um, when you die. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I got you from there. Uh, I don't know. Wow. There's something kind of funny going oh, on. Oh, yeah. With your main weapon, something is something's a bit weird. Like it's going across the screen a little too far. It's like wrapping around. Almost like it can reach the whole screen. Oof. How far that fires. But that's a different one. That's not the default. Oh. Come back here. My flag. Ah! <laughs> I can't move. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Got all three. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we, uh, I think we discovered a couple bugs, especially with the main weapon, firing across the screen. Yeah, like and wrapping around. There were a few kills that didn't seem quite right. Um, mm -hmm. uh, maybe the developer can have a look because there were a couple of times where I was shooting and it seemed to like wrap around and, and kill you almost. And I wasn't yes. sure if that was the weapon or it was some kind of, but this one's going jittery too. Uh, yeah. Some kind of glitch in, uh, oh, yeah. in, the, in the weapon itself. It wasn't a second ago. <laughs> and yeah, it's depending on the music. Um, and depending at what time in the music it's jumping. Yeah. And I'm not sure if that was also because of the music in the map, so that was jumpy. Um, I don't know, but but there were a couple of kills I was like, uh, maybe that kind of was supposed to happen, but maybe it wasn't. It was it was a little weird. Like it didn't look like I was actually shooting or anyone was shooting at someone, and the, and I just died. Yeah. So I don't know if maybe maybe that sticky bomb disappears and is still there. Yeah. Some maybe... some weapons have shrapnel too. Yeah. Where it explodes. Bigger. No, but um, I was wondering because you put that green sticky bomb. Yeah. And then it disappears. And I'm wondering if it's still there. Oh. So maybe the developer will let us know. <laughs> yeah, he can watch the video um, and analyze if, it. If that's what's going on in that in that scenario, so play with some of these weapons. We didn't use the. Uh, oh, you've got the sniper rifle. Haha, gone. <laughs> Teleported. Kept forgetting to teleport. Like the capture the flag is so. Oh, this is what. Watch, 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 watch. Oh! This is the missile that you can steer. 
Oh, no, it's not. No, it's just a straight missile. Come on, come out. There we go. Oh, you <laughs> dodged that? Wow. <laughs> some pepper oh jumpy yep jumpy see i'm firing against the wall stop for a second yeah. don't kill me oh, kill see myself. yeah you'll kill yourself you'll actually cause yourself damage yes yeah if you fire against a wall but like look at this the default weapon yes firing on that's the left what i mean side. like there's there are definitely some weird things Oh, I, yeah, it's like I'm moving around, but I keep expecting the, um... What is this? Am I invincible? I don't know. I think you're just, it's just showing your weapons changed. No, I'm, I'm all sparkly. Try and shoot me. Yep. Temporary invincibility. Oh! It, and it, it just wore off. <laughs> yes. Too. Oh, the developers in the chat now. Yay! Hi. Hello. <laughs> uh, Meg, Meg, Megained. I don't know. Uh, forgot to mention in my last update that you cannot teleport the flag. No, it it was implied. It was implied. We got. We, we figured that we out. Figured but it yeah, out. it was no, implied cool. in the instructions, so yeah. it's good, and yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, it says you will drop it. Yes. Yeah. So you drop it exactly from where you teleport from. And then you teleport away from yes. it. So it actually yeah. punishes you if you teleport. Uh, because you drop it and go away from it. Yeah, but if you're close to your base, right? And you're just defending it or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not it's necessarily fine. a bad thing. But yeah. that's cool. Yeah, and, that makes sense. And the translocator is removed from the map when you die or score a flag. Mm. Oh, the it one like you placed. It resets. Yeah, it resets. That okay, makes sense that's too. fine. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, so you can't cheat and jump back, like we said. Place it near the other person's base, mm. pick up the flag, take, run it back, and then transport back right to their base. Yeah. No, it, so that's that's very yeah, smart and that makes thinking a lot ahead. Of sense. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully you saw some of the still glitchiness. Deathmatch is playable now. Yeah. Which is great. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's if you did miss some of it. Um, It'll be in the archives, yeah. um, but hopefully you saw saw most of it. But it is it is better, and the new updates work really well. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly just just jumpiness and a couple weird things of shooting off one side and it appears on on the other. Yeah, unless but, that's intentional, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think there's wraparound shooting. Shooting. Some some games there are things like that. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Could be a feature, not a bug. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, that's about it for now. It was just mm. a quick update, um, just for MLDB. We've done everything uh, at this point. Yeah, all of the, yeah. all the updates that we could okay, cool. figure out. Um, so thanks for joining us for this quick update. We'll be back on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, to play Princess Rescue mm -hmm. and try and get as far as we can in it. I made it to the first boss last time. Okay. So you will probably be here for Princess Rescue. Okay. Will yeah. I be playing or oh, will yeah, I yes. Okay, good. No, no, it's not a one. It goes back and forth. <laughs> okay, good. It's it's fairly challenging game. Okay. Yeah. Good. Very challenging. That sounds like fun then. Yes. Yeah. As so, much as I like to be the navigator and the map maker, <laughs> playing is it, nice. It does get a little tiring after a while, so yeah, definitely want to play some, so. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. So this will be up uh, tomorrow some, <laughs> sometime. Oh, and I've also started a review of Arena Foot's book, Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion Volume 1. Um, oh, let's switch back. Oh, where's my mouse? There.
Oh. No. Not yet. That was all muted. What was muted? They couldn't hear us. How did um, you mute so, it? No. So, I don't know what was muted. Let's see. I don't know. I pressed the wrong button. I think I was trying to turn off the video game sounds. But I turned off the mic. Anyway, so let's go back. <laughs> One second. Um, because they just saw some... Well, at least there were some visuals. Yeah. I uh, just got this. The Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion Volume 1. Written by Arena Foot. Um, actually, his name is Brian Mathern. And it reviews a whole bunch of homebrew games. Right up to very current. Um, right up to Mappy, which is not even released. And goes back to the very first homebrew game ever made for the 2600. So that is on Amazon.com, not .ca. So I had to get it from the U.S. to Canada. So hopefully I'll make it available in more places. And also from Lulu Press, um, the Stella's Programmer's Guide, Stella Programmer's Guide, um, by Steve Wright. And it's like $4. It's like really, really cheap. Because the person who's putting it up there is not making any money because he didn't write it. Uh, he just formatted it. It was... Um, put up by Dion Olsthorn. Um, so yeah, it's really good. Shows you how to program the 2600. If anybody has ever done any programming, you have seen this already on the internet because you can just download it. But it's uh, handy to have uh, as a book. So I'll be doing a review of both of these books coming out soon. Um, so you'll be able to see that on the YouTube channel when I'm finished it because I just started it today. So that is it. Sorry about the muting. <laughs> I press the wrong it button happens. sometimes. Yeah. yeah, it happens. <laughs> so we'll see you on Wednesday night, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific time, 10 p.m. Eastern time, and like 2 a.m. Mm. in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Europeans. You have to watch it on repeat or stay up really late. It's worth it. You don't need to go to work. Okay. So see you then. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.